Super Barbarian strategies are taking over Clash of Clans. But how strong are they in Downhill Duel? Let's find out. We have got this ways first. We're gonna drop the Super Archer bomb here. Hopefully, clear out as much as possible. Then we will circling around with our heroes like this. And to support them, we have got Yetis and Super Barbarians. They should work. Let's start with the Hound, followed by the Blimp. The Azubo is going to get one knock back, but that's about it. The Blimp is going to reach its destination. First, we're gonna make it invisible and then let Super Archers come out. We're gonna double clone them and we don't have anything else other than the Super Archers, so nothing else will be cloned. We're gonna make them invisible one after another. They're gonna get the Expo first, one Inferno. Town Hall is the main target though, for this instance at least. By the looks of it, they will also get the other Expo and hopefully the other Inferno. They're going to get the Clan Castle as well and the Enemy Queen, that's bonus. Let's see if they can get the Inferno Tower and by the looks of it, they are going to get it. Now we're going to charge our heroes from this side. Let's begin with the king. One ice golem. Let's make them away with super wall breaker. Cut their pathing with super barbarians. I want the heroes to go in. We're going to deploy the queen and the grand warden as well. The inferno tower has been destroyed so nothing to worry about. We have got the Eddies. Let's also deploy them. Save two for the time being. We have got five super wall breakers left. That's a lot of them. We'll just have to make way for two compartments. Three actually, including the Inferno Tower compartment. We still have got more troops to deploy. Over on this side, there's a Tesla. So let's deploy one Yeti and Super Barbarian. You should take care of it. Open the way here with Super Wall Breakers. Let's destroy the storages up ahead. The Queen should walk in and get that Expo as well. Well, the Super Wall Break was a waste. Over here, we're gonna deploy more Yetis and Super Barbarians. Let's just save the rest for the time being. I'm gonna open the path here with Super Wall Breaker again. We have used the Warden ability, but it should be fine. The King will walk away from the single Inferno range. Let's deploy the remaining Ice Golem here and more Super Barbarians along with one Super Wall Breaker. Our Warden is going to fall because of the Inferno Tower, but our Queen is going to come in clutch and take that Inferno out. The King has fallen as well, but we have got a lot of troops to deploy. Let's deploy one Super Wall Breaker because they aren't required right now. Deploy the Super Barbarians from this side. They will take that Archer Tower out. The Ice Golem has survived and one Yeti as well. That's pretty ideal. Let's surround the back end Tesla. There was a Tesla farm there, but that will not be a problem. We have got enough force to take the triple out of this base. Now we have got this. Firstly, we're gonna charge the Blimp from this side. Take out the whole section. Then we're gonna dive the heroes to the town hall this time and sweep across the whole base. Let's begin. We have the tanking hound one more time, then the blimp. The hound will get closer. It is tanking pretty well, but the blimp has reached its destination. So we're gonna make it invisible, double clone it and rage one more time. I did let my lava pups clear out before deploying the clone spell. I didn't want it to clone the lava pups. That would have been a disaster. The eel is out. We'll get all the Inferno Towers, hopefully, and the Expos as well. We might be able to get the Queen, might not, but that's not on my mind right now. Thus, the Super Archers will get that Inferno Tower. We're going to miss one, it's fine. Let's cut the pathing here. We're gonna use Yeti and Super Barbarians. If you don't want to use Yetis, then you can go all out with Super Barbarians, but I'd like to use them, so I've got Yetis in my composition. After this, we'll be charging more Super Barbarians from time to time. We'll have to be ready for that. This time we will not go on two opposite sides. Other than that mortar, that seems like an easy pick there. Let's wall break our kill squad in. Let's also make funnel on our end. Our troop should move in. The town has been activated on percentage or I don't know if a super archer hit that. Regardless, we're gonna charge towards the town hall. Not everyone will walk in, but the queen should be targeting the town hall in just a few seconds. We still have got 10 super barbarians remaining, so we're gonna take out that archer tower. Let's also pop the warden ability, because that was forced. The queen is kinda going out, so we'll need to put super barbarians to the town hall. We also have got the king there, so that's very ideal. There's only a single compartment that is remaining, and we have got more super barbarians to deploy. Now you can see that this is a very powerful strategy, it works like a charm every time. 
I'm just clearing out all the super wall breakers because I don't need them. I basically have not changed my strategy from the last time and even if I didn't tailor my strategy according to this base, we're going to get it anyways. For the final run, we're going to change the strategy just a little bit and approach the base in a different way. We have this base next. We can see the best value in this compartment, so we're gonna take it with a blimp, then charge the heroes from this side, along with super barbarians. I'm gonna start with the hound and make this air defense invisible. In that way, the hound will target that air defense and give us tanking even further, just like that. The blimp has reached the spot, so we're gonna make it invisible and do our business as usual. There are traps in there, but just a single giant bomb will not kill the super archers. We're gonna get the town hall, the eagle artillery and some side structures here and there. The CC has been lured so we're gonna pull that away with a super barbarian there. We are out of invisibility spells and this time we got an okay value. It was not the best but certainly we got something. Now we're gonna take care of the collectors, all of them and make a way here with the super wall breaker, ice golem followed by the heroes. Let's make the way a little bit ahead with more super wall breaker. The enemy CC is coming towards this side, but our heroes will take care of that very easily. We'll also deploy the Yetis and sprinkle more super barbarians here and there. We still have got super wall breakers, we're gonna keep on making ways. We've got all the hero abilities and I will be pairing the king ability with the warden ability. That usually gives the best output possible, so let's pop both of them together. We've got a lot of barbarians and they will do some good damage before falling. Let's deploy some more super barbarians on the outside defenses, the wizard tower and the cannon. We have got one ice golem left, so let's deploy that here, followed by more super barbarians, a wizard as well and some more on this side. The enemy heroes have been dealt with and we still have got more troops to deploy. Our queen ability is still intact and I would like to pop that on that expo because that's the most threatening defense standing. We have got more super barbarians. Let's deploy them on the outside, take care of these trash buildings so our heroes and Yeris do not get distracted from the main task. Deploy more super barbarians from the outside, thank for our archer queen. The Yeris are doing a fine job there, we might need to deploy more. Let's wall break here, the super barbarian will be able to pass through. Over here all of the defenses have fallen, even the cannon as well. The final thing that is remaining is the wizard tower and we have got the queen ability, so there's no way that can hold the line. I'm gonna deploy all the troops and let's swag the queen ability this time as well. Let's deploy the final super barbarian and take care of this base. This strategy is easy, surprisingly, and very strong. By the way, if you want to send me a friend request, then you can use this player ID. Send me a friend request here. And if you want to see even more stronger Super Archer strategies at Town Hall 12, then check out this video. I'll be linking one right here. It has the strongest top 3 variations. So I'll be seeing you there then.